So we've filled our moulds. Now because this is a cold set dessert, it's going to go into the cool room and we're going to let it set for a couple of hours until it's firm to touch. You can see from my remaining mousse that it's a nice, smooth, glossy mixture. It holds a nice ribbon and will have a nice fine texture. It's important that you balance the amount of chocolate and gelatin that you have in your mixture so that it's not too firm and not too soft. So if you were to serve this into a glass and you don't need it to sand free like these moulds will later on, you can take a leaf of gelatin out of this mixture so it's a little bit softer on the palate. Also you need to adjust those ratios depending on the temperature. So the warmer the, the area you're serving it into, the slightly firmer it needs to be. Watch your temperature when you put together your chocolate and your egg yolks and your gelatin that before you fold in your cream that the temperature comes down to just below blood temperature so that you don't split your cream and lose your emulsion. They're the main points you have to be aware of and of course when you're filling moulds work neatly and cleanly. So I'm now going to pop this into the fridge. So our mousse have been in the freezer for a couple of hours and, and they're set to touch and we're just going to use some non-melting cocoa powder and we're just going to dust just lightly over the top. We don't need to cover the whole amount. Just a light dusting is fine. So you can see there, that's what I want to achieve. Then, we're going to demold them. So we're just going to take our frame. Now we do have the plugs here, but it looks like we don't need them. So if we just pop them off like so and remove them, if you have some that are a bit stubborn, then what we can do is we can just take them up into the plugs here, very carefully line up and away we go. And just remove them as well, even lost the acetate on one. Now to have a look. At our finished product, we just gently peel the acetate off and that's our finished dessert. And what we can do, we can plate that. Now you'll notice that there is a seam, a join there. And if you're the customer, it always goes away from the customer and we'll just pop a nice little chocolate decoration on top like so and that's finished. So I've got a couple more plates here. I can just plate these up very quickly. So again, just remove the acetate. If you left these in the freezer for another hour or a little bit longer, then what would happen is that you get a cleaner edge on the outside of our cake, but that's okay. I'm going to pop a little apple chip into that one. And that And that's that. That's our mousse. Now you can use your mousse in a variety of ways. Today I've chosen just to make them as an individual gâteau for a plate of dessert. But that wraps up how to make a chocolate mousse.